They are known as the forgotten refugees of the Western Sahara, a sparsely populated area of mostly desert situated on the northwest coast of Africa. For many years, they have lived a life of uncertainty in camps in Algeria since its seizure by Morocco in 1975 as a result of a long-running territorial dispute between that country and the indigenous Sahrawi people. Namibia has been one of the African countries vocal about the rights to self-determination of the Sahrawi people. But with little or no change, the Pan-African Women's Organization is once again calling on Morocco to leave Western Sahara. The latest is a petition to the United Nations. An immediate stop to the continued human rights violations in the Western Sahara by Morocco and the immediate release of all Sahrawi political detainees, in particular the group of Dame Isaac, as specified in his advisory opinion of the 16th of October 1975. The International Court of Justice clearly states that Morocco does not have any legal ties on Western Sahara that might if affect its decolonization. The organization demands that all the long past resolutions taken to correct the long standing political situation inflicted upon the people of Western Sahara by Morocco be reviewed and implemented and is determined to soldier on until this was done. We, as Power Saro says, watch out. The Sahrawi people's fight for independence has become, uh, become our fight. We are not prepared to be fence sitters but we vow to make this to the next level until independence is achieved. To Africa, we want to say that unless Western Sahara becomes independent in two years' time, I underline, in two years' time, Agenda 2063 will remain but a dream. The United Nations resident coordinator, Kiki Beho, received the petition and promised to forward it to the UN headquarters.